Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Civilization VI as the Khmer. Still currently in a war with Pericles, uh, although we would like to get out as soon as we can. It's more just to get some luxuries from, uh, or some amenities, I should say, from uh, Australia. So we got three more turns we can get till we can get out of that. I know he's got some troops heading this direction. I don't know how close they are. Oh, well, hello there. That's going to be a little more impactful, I, be I believe. Colonial War. All right. I mean, some good news is that we finally have... Um... Oh, wow. Ouch. Um... Yeah. Oh, wow. he's coming across the land there. Now he's coming for me, that's for sure. Alright, you need to get away from the coast. Um, Builder. I think I'm just going to kind of hide you in here for now. It's going to be fine. Um, Go ahead and move off this direction for now. Just because we're going to want to be able to put the other bombard there as soon as we're able to. Guess. Go hook up the rice over here. Alright, so. Yep, another university I think will be good. Uh, that's going to help us finish up one of the uh, other techs that we have going. Yeah, the war, with, war with Rome is going to be a little bit more problematic, I think. Still, a couple more turns, we should be able to peace out, hopefully, peace out, uh, Greece. America's still beating up on Poland over here. Yeah, he's coming around this direction, for sure. Oh, there's a catapult we can go beat up on a little bit, I guess. All right, one more turn, right? One more turn. I'm sure Rome's going to be coming for this city over here, so we're probably going to need to get a defensive unit uh, as soon as we're able to. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and beat up on you a little bit more, just to, I don't know threaten you to some degree. Not much, but it's something. Oh, there's your sub. Sure would be nice if we could blow up one of these things. Because that might make you a little bit more inclined to uh, peace out at some point, but I don't think we're going to have enough, not enough damage on you. Should be able to hopefully piece you out now. Really? I mean, I'm not going to give you all this stuff, but I just wanted to see, like, you do have a, a limit at some point. Wow, you're not very happy at all. All right, never mind. Fine. We'll, uh, we'll just keep doing what we're doing. I mean, I know you're coming, but we'll, we'll have to do the best we can then to, def to fend you off. Should be able to get another bombard here in another turn. So that's something. Really, at this point, we just need to focus on the technology a bit. Because we get the technology, we'll be able to faith buy the units that we need. And that's going to make a pretty big difference. Um, like repairing off this campus would be a really good thing to have just because 
open up the camps with the uh, encampment because it would um another option for kind of buying some of these units that we need so i think that's what we're gonna do Not the sub ran away so for now we'll just go on alert Uh, one more build. We are building a holy site there. We're probably going to put a, um, what I'm trying to say, aqueduct here. So these could be farms. So let's go ahead and just drop a farm right here. It's going to be fine. I guess we'll come up here and beat up on this guy. And I'm guessing still nothing. I'm guessing we're probably going to have to, um, Find a way to like kill at least one of your units to be able to piece you out at some point. All right, Teddy Roosevelt made peace with Jadwiga. Ah, so Teddy Roosevelt is in control here. That's good to know. Should get a spy out soon. That's actually a good thing to think about. Keep forgetting about. The I always forget about the spies because they come in so late and I'm usually kind of focused on something else entirely, but no, it's definitely a good idea to get one of those out as soon as possible. Oh, we forgot our, uh, our bombard over here. That's alright, we'll get it this next turn. Ooh, spy, steel tech boost. What can be labeled, packaged, mass produced is neither truth. Well, crossbowman's going to be trouble. Keep coming after these guys a little bit, though. Maybe we can sink one of those guys before they get away. Uh-oh, he's got some guys in here. Well, hello there. Um, let's move you up, get another bombard here. I just got a promotion out of that. Uh, we can go ahead and move you up. Let's get you a little closer, I suppose. Um, doubt you're going to be able to do anything. No. Could attack here, but it's not much. It's something, though. All right. Um, university adjacent to a mountain. Actually, I think our main city... Yeah, it's next to a mountain, so that's, we're going to be getting that soon. So, let's go ahead and work on that thing, get that thing halfway. We'll be able to get both of these very, very soon. In fact, we'll be able to get this one right now. Uh, ballistics. Could be something we can go for. Actually, I think this is actually going to be more important. Let's start working on that. Um, are we able to get... I'm trying to see if we're able to get a... Um... What am I trying to say? I don't even see it, so never mind. The the guy that builds the, the forts. Um, but I don't see any of them. All right, for now, though, let's go ahead and get our other bombard. Finish that thing off. Of and again, we can upgrade those to some artillery later on, so that's going to be fine. Not sure that there's anything else we can do at the moment. Got one turn on our university here, 10 turns on the university there. Everything else seems fine. I don't see Rome yet, but I'm sure they're coming. Need some more amenities though. So he did take out that guy. I kind of was afraid of that. It was a little bit weak compared to him. He's getting away. Oh, the one good thing is that we should be able to... Oh, you're being blocked. Of course you are. And you're not going to be able to get any vision on here either. Hmm. 
So we're not gonna be able to kill that guy after all. All right, well, that's fine. Um, any news on the Rome front? Not yet. What kind of guys can you build over here or buy over here, I should say? Well, obviously the warrior monk, but that's not really gonna help us right this second. Can't do the musketman either because we don't have the knight or we could do a crossbowman. Which would be fine, I guess. We may do that just to get some defenses everywhere. All right, Greece, come on. Ready to peace out yet? All right, for 17 gold per turn, I know a whole bunch of gold. I don't like it, but I don't really want to be dealing with you right now. Whatever, let's just do it. Don't really want to mess with you at the moment. Soon, but not right now. Alright, an entertainment complex here would actually be a very beneficial thing to have. Just to be able to get it within range of these guys. I don't think there's any way to get it close enough for this guy, though. Nope. Not unless we had the boost, which we're not going to be able to get. I guess right here on this tundra, it's not good for much of anything else anyway. And if we ever did stick a city up here, it would be able to benefit from there as well. Um... Let's go and get you walls. Just you're gonna be on the front lines here a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Renaissance walls would be great, but I don't know if I want to prioritize it at the moment. Let's go and repair this thing up for now. So we've already got it built there. It's just gotta repair it. What do we need to get the, uh, what is it, what is it they have that I'm trying to think of? I actually don't remember what they're called, I'll be honest. There they are, military engineers. There we go. Requires an armory, okay. Do we not have an armory anywhere? You do not. Nobody has an armory, okay, fair enough. All right, so the shipyard would get us five production. The workshop would give us two. So the shipyard definitely seems like a better bet. It's about 50% longer, but more than double the production. So let's go that route. Uh, you got a promotion, so let's at least take advantage of that. Uh, just come home and just get you healed up a little bit. Sorry, I was trying to <laughs> mute my, myself for, for a second, and it, it, it usually spins it around. Um, yeah, I don't know what, what's up the deal with Rome. I don't know why he wanted to declare war on me. I mean, I'd love to go after him at some point, but not really anything. Like, I don't know. I'm sure he's going to be coming soon, though. I don't think we're going to have the two forts, so we're just going to go ahead and research ballistics all the way up, which is fine. She wanted to give me three gold per turn and 51 gold and open borders for Jade. No. How about you give me your coffee? And... Nope, no gold per turn, no gold. I'll be happy with the coffee though. Now we really gotta figure out who we're gonna go to war with next. We're not gonna be able to go to war with anybody now until we get um, artillery. Have to have to have artillery. I mean, it seems like Rio or like uh, Brazil is going to be the next goal. And honestly, we're right here knocking on the doors of his capital. So 
knocking that out pretty quickly would not be a bad idea. Just mass up a whole bunch of troops here. Just go after him. I think that's doable. For now, we're just going to chill. Doing our thing. Again, kind of going for the artillery. Once we get the artillery, let's see. If we get the artillery... Um, infantry's not too far off from that. Well, never mind. I say that. It's actually down a different path entirely. Can I move up to the tanks, maybe? We'll have to see. Well, I'll have to see once we get there. But artillery is definitely our first goal. Right, can you buy something now? Get you a crossbowman. We'd have to upgrade it at some point. We're making, like, no money right now because of what we're giving to Greece. Now, I think we're actually better off in the long run of, um... Saving our faith and buying the more advanced units once we're able to get them. So I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Go ahead and heal up, Mr. Caravel. I'd love to double this faith, get up to like 300 faith per turn or something like that. That would help us out a lot with starting to pump out some units once we can get the, uh, the tech for them. There's not a limit, right? I'm not I'm not making that up, am I? Let's see. It just says land and combat units. There's no there's no um limit based on uh what I'm trying to say, limit based on era or anything like that. Plus we get a bonus or a discount bonus, uh the more turns we have this. We already get a fifteen percent bonus, which is pretty awesome. It's actually kind of tempting to take our bombards now that we have them and go after Krakow. That's oh, so I say Krakow. Krakow? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm emphasizing the, the syllables like that. But anyway, go after Poland a little bit. Go after their capital. But I don't know if that's the right plan or not. Um, I think going for some more gold is fine. Let's go for Brasilia. I think that's going to be fine. Still no Rome yet. Not that I'm wishing for him, but it's a little interesting. Ah, there he is. He's coming. I mean, if we're going to have any chance against a mechanized infantry, we at least need a field cannon. I don't even know if that's going to be enough. Wow. A uh, army. A T crew army, huh? All right. Um... I guess I'm kind of tempted to go for the barracks and stuff. I wonder if the combat experience counts towards the ones we buy with faith. I actually don't know. Commercial hub would be good. Shipyard would be good. It's three production. Um... I feel like we're going to at least need a barracks and an armory somewhere just, just to be able to get some of the more advanced units and things. I 
Now uh, there's Rome. I doubt that there's any way he'd be able to piece me out. Ah, we actually lost our alliance. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and renew that. And let's go ahead and see if we can renew this one with you. Can't say no to that. I misread that for a second. I was like, I thought he was saying no. Um, I guess we'll keep the uh, alliance going as well. And then same thing with you. I mean, it's tempting to try and become friends and join an alliance with you, this guy, but I don't know if I want to do that or not. Um, we're so far away from being able to go war against him, though. Not right, you. Like, seriously, what is your what is your deal? Like nothing. All right, fine, whatever. That's not what I want. I said, never mind. Eight turns, and we can get field cannons over here. I feel like it's the only thing that's going to matter. Yeah, field cannons have range of, what, 60? Yeah, that's the only thing that's even going to have a, be able to make a dent in this guy. If, if, if anything, even then, it's not going to be much. Well, we'll just keep holding off for now. I feel like he's just going to swoop in there and take that city, though. Uh, Let's get a bank, because that's going to help us with our money situation a bit. Wow, we got a lot of units. Now he's just going to be able to stomp that thing down quick. Um, what are the odds that you piece this out now? Can't imagine it's even possible. Like, like, seriously, if I give you like a whole bunch of gold. Okay, so nothing. All right, never mind. Um, like if I were to just give you Angkor Wat, because you would take that. Uh, but you'd have to actually have to take all the gold and stuff if you wanted that. Hmm. I mean, I think you're going to take it anyway, but we shall see. All right, we're going to go ahead and leave it on that little bit of a cliffhanger. I think we're going to lose Angkor Wat just because we just don't have, we don't have anything worth building there. Um, once we get the uh, ballistics up, I mean, it's... If I'd had it already as he's coming across those hills and kind of being a little bit slow, we might have had a, stood a chance. I don't think there's anything we can do about Angkor Wat. I think we're going to lose it straight up. But we'll see. And um, really, at this point, it's just a matter of trying to tech up enough to uh, kind of flip the tables around and go after these guys in, in return. So we'll see if we can start doing some of that next time. Uh, now that we've got our faith engine kind of rolling in, we can start buying some of these more advanced units uh, with faith and things like that. We'll see what we can do. But I do appreciate you watching, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.